Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Let me pick up on that point because it's exactly where I was going to go to out of your testimony. You said more must be done to fully devolve government and achieve a vibrant economy and pluralist, pluralistic shared society. So can you get into the specifics of what that Haas agreement uh, really is talking about? You know, what, what is the much more that needs to be done? What needs to, what needs to be done is uh, to, to follow the Haas recommendations. Um, he, Dr. Haas recommended um, uh, several things. There were agreements uh, that were reached uh, about dealing with the past, uh, but they, they weren't fully resolved. There were issues uh, regarding how to deal with uh, flags and emblems, but they weren't fully resolved. There were issues dealing with how the government was going to interact, uh, but they weren't fully resolved. And I think that it's important that, to get to, um, if confirmed, to be able to meet with all of the parties involved in these and find out precisely where all the sticking points were, why this disagreement, which was widely, uh, uh, widely praised, didn't go through. You mentioned agreement on flags. I mean, it seems like there's got to be more significant issues than that. Uh, to, to the North Irish, they, those are significant issues. Um, they, they have a resonance there that, um, that you or I may not uh, fully, um, fully appreciate or fully feel, uh, but, but that is very important uh, to a segment of the population, and that, that has to be dealt with. Okay, well, I appreciate that. Uh, Northern Ireland has a 12.5% tax on, on business, and as a result, there have been a number of American companies that have st started operations there, uh, certainly part, part of the process of uh, trade between the two countries. Uh, certainly in, in the political realm here in, in this country, it seems like there's a resentment about that fact in, in some cases. I just kind of want to get your views on uh, what, what do you think about that American investment in Ireland taking advantage of that 12.5% tax rate? Uh, just, I just want your views on that. Sure. I, I think you meant uh, Ireland has it. Oh, did, what did I say? Uh, Northern Ireland. Oh, I'm sorry, Ireland. I, I think it's a little bit higher in, in Northern Ireland uh, at the moment. Um, there are a number of reasons why American companies uh, have found Ireland to be an attractive uh, place to do business in Europe. And, uh, and, and those are, are some of the compelling reasons. It's an English-speaking country. Uh, it is a country um, that has a well-educated uh, and dedicated workforce. Uh, it is a country that appreciates America and American goods. Ireland is in the Eurozone and is in the EU, and it is strategically located at the entrance to Europe. And I think all of those considerations, and probably many more, um, have to do with Ireland's success in attracting American business. Uh, okay, yeah, I realize it's uh, it's, there are more factors to it, but again, addressing the 12.5 percent, there seems to be some resentment. Do, do you share that resentment? Do you think that's an uh, appropriate thing for governments to, to compete with the uh, tax structures and regulatory structures to attract investment? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I know, I know Senator, that both uh, the United States and the European Union uh, are having discussions with Ireland uh, about that tax rate, and I, uh, if confirmed, I would uh, pers participate in those discussions with them. Is your, is your knowledge that the administration is opposed to that 12.5 percent rate? Are they trying to in, entice uh, or, or induce Ireland to increase that tax rate? Well, I, I, I don't know, uh, Senator, the precise answer to that question. I'd be happy to get back with you on that. Uh, I, I don't know that, uh, that the administration has taken a position one way or the other on another country's tax rate. Okay. And I, I don't know that anyone else has taken a position on our tax rate. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Mr. Bass, talking earlier about the, the issues between the Kurds and, and Turkey, uh, certainly I've been in contact with the uh, citizens of the Kurdish region, and they're certainly pressing for independence. And reading in the press, it's sounding like Turkey may be more open to that prospect, even though they've been utterly opposed to it in the past. Is there, am I reading that right? Is there, is there a growing possible acceptance on the part of Turkey to have a, uh, an independent state of Kurdistan? Uh, Senator, in our conversations with the Turkish government, they have continued to uh, advocate the importance to Turkey and its interests of a 
stable, unified, federal uh, Iraq. And we are continuing to work closely with them uh, to try to bring that about. Uh, it's been very painful for those of us who uh, invested parts of our professional lives in Iraq over the last 10, 11 years uh, to see uh, the recent turn of events. Um, if I'm confirmed, I'll certainly continue to work to bring that result about in partnership with our Turkish friends and to stay in a close dialogue with them about their interaction and relationship with uh, the officials and the, the citizens in the KRG. What, what are the current pressing issues between the Kurdistan region and the Turkish government? Um, there's a, a variety of cross-border uh, issues of interest. Obviously, the uh, um, uh, rebels in southeastern Turkey uh, over the 30 years of their insurgency have crossed back and forth from northern Iraq. Uh, so the government of Turkey uh, worked very closely with the authorities in northern Iraq uh, to enable them to address uh, some of those flows in both directions. Uh, there is uh, uh, quite a strong uh, trade and economic relationship as a result of uh, 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 the, uh, uh, the KRG's uh, increased uh, self-reliance on its own resources, uh, and there's a, a, an energy relationship uh, between them as well. Can, can you speak to the transportation of oil from Kurdistan through Turkey and you know, what, what, our, what our policy is toward that? Um, and, and really how, how Turkey's viewing that. We, we don't take a position on uh, the merits of the specific sales we have expressed to both, uh, both parties. Uh, concerns that the uh, disputes within Iraq about legal title to that commodity may wrap those cargoes up in ongoing litigation once they're out. Um, I think the most important thing from our perspective is to help uh, stabilize oil exports from Iraq to make sure those revenues are available to all the citizens of Iraq and shared equitably uh, within a federal unified state. Okay, thank you.